Live, local, late breaking. WVTM 13 News at 10 starts now. For 49 hours, law enforcement, loved ones, and the community worked tireless, tirelessly to see a safe return of Carly Russell. After being first reported missing on Thursday night, the outcome her family was waiting for became their reality last night when Carly returned home on foot. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Gladys Bautista. And I'm Jarvis Robertson. Many breathing a sigh of relief, but wanting to know what happened to Carly in a span of the 49 hours she was missing. Yeah, WVTM 13 Chip Scarborough joins us live now from Hoover tonight to break down what we know so far about the case and what could come soon. Chip. Well, Gladys and Jarvis, obviously the best news in all of this is that Carly Russell returned home safely late last night. At the same time, it sure has sparked a lot of questions about what exactly happened to her after she disappeared late Thursday night. We are not giving up and we're still going to hold tight to our faith that she's coming home safe. Carly Russell's parents spoke to us just four hours before their prayers were answered. They met up with us at the Hoover Met on Saturday evening, right after Cruz wrapped up a second day of searching for their daughter, quick to praise those who made it possible. And I'm uh, Blanchard's mother, Angela. She has been phenomenal. Yes, um, she has been organizing this, uh, uh, the search party. Um, I don't know what right. we would have done without her. Right. And it was Angela Harris who confirmed to WVTM 13 late Saturday night the news everyone hoped for. Carly Russell is alive and well. Hoover police say Russell returned home on foot just before 11 o'clock Saturday night and was taken to UAB to be checked out. Investigators say they've spoken to Russell since her return, but the details of that conversation are part of an ongoing investigation. An investigation that started around 930 Thursday night when authorities say they got a 911 call from Russell, who reported seeing a toddler in a diaper on the side of 459 southbound in Hoover near Highway 150. Police say Russell wasn't seen or heard from after that point, but they found her car and personal belongings on the side of the road. Detectives say they've since pulled traffic camera video of the area where Russell reported seeing the child, and that video is now being analyzed. At the same time, officers say Russell's 911 call remains the only report of a child on the side of the interstate. Um. As police investigated the disappearance, close friends and even complete strangers took part in two full days of searching parts of Hoover for any sign of Carly Russell. Her best friends also held out hope she'd make it back safely. We've been talking about just what type of person Carly is, and she really is just a genuine person. Um, she, When she loves, she loves hard. Sunday afternoon, Talitha Russell released a statement on Facebook thanking the community for its support during the search for her daughter, adding, quote, we do want to ask for privacy at this time to allow us to just love on our daughter and each other with our close family and friends. Also, please consider the fact we have not slept for three nights and we are mentally and physically exhausted. And Talitha Russell did go on to say the family does plan to speak with the media at some point in the near future, citing an ongoing law enforcement investigation. Live in Hoover tonight, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. Chip, thanks. Now, we will be expecting updates in the near future regarding this case. To stay up to date, be sure and download the free WVTM 13 app. We'll send push notifications straight to your phone as we get any new developments.